Hey, Dr. Trash here, and today I want to explain how Armon metric system works, how to calculate damage reduction, what effective health is, and why it's important. Also, I'm gonna show why it's bullshit to believe in the myth that Armon metric systems have diminishing returns so that buying armor becomes useless and gold efficient at some point. So, I'm gonna explain the concept of damage reduction with Armon, not with metric resistance, just because I don't want to say metric resistance over and over again. But bear in mind, it works exactly the same. Armor works like that. You take the Formula 100 divided through 100 plus your armor, you then get the number between 1 and 0 as a result. The number is then your damage multiplier, and you just multiply this with the damage incoming, and the result is then the actual damage you're gonna get. If you only want to know how big your damage reduction is though, you just calculate 1 minus the damage multiplier and that's your damage reduction in percent. Bear in mind though um, that if you have below 0 armor, you have to take the formula 2 minus 100 divided through 100 minus your armor to calculate the damage multiplier. But back to the first formula and let's get into detail with some examples. But before I will do that, I want to ask you if you believe that armor becomes less useful the more you buy. You probably would say yes, and yeah, that's what I thought the last 5 years of playing League of Legends. But actually, that's not the case, and I'm gonna show you why. In our example, Raman says 100 armor and 2000 HP. You wanna know now how much damage one auto attack from Jinx deals. She got 200 AD in our example. So, 100 divided through 100 plus Raman's armor, which is 100, is 0 0.5. Now we multiply 200 with 0 0.5, and we get 100. That's the damage Jinx would deal per auto attack against Ramos. That means while well, with no armor she of course would only need 10 auto attacks to kill him, with 100 armor it would take 20 auto attacks to kill the armadillo. So in the next example Ramos has 200 armor and we would put 200 in our formula. We would get 0 through 3 as a damage multiplier and that multiplied with 200 means that she would only deal 66 damage per auto attack. This also means she would now need 30 auto attacks to kill him and if we would get 300 armor she would need 40 auto attacks to do so. So you see armor does not get worse, the efficiency is just linear. So I want to illustrate that now again but we will take effective health into account and if you have no clue what effective health is don't worry. I will explain it. In this example we take again our armadillo Ramos. He has 200 HP and 0 armor. I know that's not really realistic but it's just a way to make it easier to understand. It would of course take 2000 damage to kill him since he has no resistances. So he has 2000 effective health. With 100 armor now and a damage multiplier of 0 5 it would take 4000 damage to kill him. So he has 4000 effective health. The common thought would be now that with 200 armor the effective health would be of course higher but surely would not increase linear. But in fact it does. You can do the math but with 200 armor you have 6000 effective health and with 300 armor you have 8000 effective health. That means that per 1 point of armor you increase your base health per 1% and it shows that there's no diminishing returns in regards of your effective health point. What that means is just that buying more armor is never called inefficient. But why do you just don't stack than only armor? Well that's because it's even more efficient to stack armor and health. If you have 2000 HP and 200 armor you have 6000 effective health. You could get now 100 armor more and increase your effective health by 2000 or you get 1000 health and your effective health is gonna increase by 3000. So that's the reason that people tend to stop buying armor at a certain point and rather get HP instead. Also HP helps you against 2 damage and magical damage while a heal for example is better when you have a lower health pool and therefore more resistances. Summed up it's not good inefficient to buy more armor it is just normally more efficient to stack health as well. So I got three graphs now to sum everything up. The first graph shows how most people think armor efficiency works. The second one shows how it really works and the third one shows why it's more efficient to stack armor as well as health. The one question most of you probably ask yourself now is what's the perfect balance between armor, magic resistance and health? And unfortunately there's just none. There are just too many components and variables in the formula. You have to take into account your champ, his base stats, your team composition as well as the enemy team comp and a lot of things more that make calculating the perfect balance impossible. So that's the end of the video. I hope to learn something new and if you have any further questions just write them down in the comments. If you liked the video also make sure and leave a like or subscribe to my channel for more content like that. But anyway thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.